step into a bygone era of television with It Ain't Half Hot Mum, a BBC sitcom that whisked audiences to a royal artillery concert party stationed in British India and Burma during the waning days of World War II. Join us as we journey through the intriguing tale of the show, exploring its context, beloved characters, and the intricate threads that bind it to our ever-evolving entertainment landscape. Facts vs. UK presents Why It Ain't Half Hot Mum Will Never Air on TV Again. Racist and Tone Deaf The uproarious humor that once filled the airwaves with It Ain't Half Hot Mum has been met with a resolute decision from BBC executives. The show will never grace modern TV screens again. This beloved sitcom, which enjoyed immense popularity from 1974 to 1981, has found itself at the center of a heated debate concerning its place in today's society. Roughly a decade ago, a careful review of its content led BBC editors to a unanimous conclusion. The show's humor, once hailed for its mirth, now stands out of sync with the sensibilities of contemporary audiences. With a peak viewership soaring to around 15 million, It Ain't Half Hot Mum was a force to be reckoned with, but the comedic landscape it navigated wasn't without controversy. Jokes that played on cultural differences between Indian, Burmese, and Japanese characters, although perceived differently in the 70s, today carry undertones deemed totally incompatible with modern societal values. In 2012, a source shared with the Daily Express that the verdict was clear. The show, with its undertone of racism and insensitive remarks about various races and religions, would find no home on BBC channels going forward. Controversial Reception Unlike its contemporaneous sitcoms of the 70s, like Dad's Army, Porridge, and The Good Life, It Ain't Half Hot Mum has faced a unique fate. The BBC refrains from airing repeats of the show due to its politically incorrect content. Despite this, writer Jimmy Perry, before his passing, defended the series as a representation of historical truth. He believed it sheds light on a significant part of history and societal changes, criticizing the BBC for what he called a cowardly way out chart-topping tune. While the show and its insensitive approach to depicting people of various races and ethnicities certainly has created quite a stir in recent years, we think this little nugget of trivia will still be well-received by the show's many fans. In 1975, co-stars Windsor Davies and Don Estelle made an unexpected splash on the UK charts with the novelty song Whispering Grass. They performed the song in character from the series, showcasing a delightful crossover of entertainment between the show and the music scene. Casting Controversy The casting of white actor Michael Bates as the Indian bearer Rangji Ram drew considerable criticism from some quarters, with accusations of blackface. Writer Jeremy Perry defended the choice, pointing out that Bates only wore a light tan. Some see the show as playfully satirizing British attitudes in India, while others have labeled it racist and homophobic. These perceptions have contributed to the show's absence from British television reruns. Flawed Charms Despite its many flaws, which include narrow stereotypes of Indian supporting characters, It Ain't Half Hot Mum has still earned its place in several best-of lists. The series tried to navigate the challenges of casting by reluctantly choosing a white actor for an Indian character due to the lack of suitable Indian actors at the time. In his defense, Michael Bates, who portrayed Rangji Ram, was particularly noteworthy for his fluency in Urdu and his status as a Gurkha captain. Perry's Pride Jimmy Perry, the visionary behind the show, considered it his finest sitcom achievement. Amidst a career brimming with beloved shows, this one held a unique place in his heart. The camaraderie, humor, and historical context of the series aligned with his personal experiences, making it more than entertainment, it was a reflection of his memories and emotions. Perry's pride in the show went beyond its popularity, it was rooted in its ability to convey intricate human dynamics and cultural nuances. He believed that through the laughter, he had woven stories that spanned eras, fostering connections between people and history. Unfortunately, while that's how Perry viewed his masterpiece, modern audiences are far more critical of the work. Mysterious Departures The series had a couple of mysterious and perplexing departures. Michael Bates tragically passed away after the fifth series. However, he was never officially written out of the show. His character instead vanished without explanation. Similarly, Punkawala Rumzan, portrayed by Babar Bhatti, also left the series without any explanation about his departure. It's not alone. 
It Ain't Half Hot Mom is not alone in facing scrutiny for its culturally insensitive content. The landscape of classic British sitcoms hold other examples that have also been deemed outdated and politically incorrect by today's standards. As societal awareness and sensibilities evolve, these shows stand as reminders of a different era in television. One notable case is Love Thy Neighbor, a sitcom that revolved around the interactions between a white British couple and their black Caribbean neighbors. While attempting humor through racial tensions, the show's approach is now seen as perpetuating harmful stereotypes. Similarly, Mind Your Language featured language classes with a diverse group of students, often relying on crude humor derived from their nationalities and backgrounds. Rising Damp centered on the lives of tenants in a boarding house, but its portrayal of a racist landlord has since been criticized for its insensitivity. Additionally, the Black and White Minstrel Show, once a popular variety show, featured white performers in blackface, an offensive practice that has rightfully been condemned. Where to Watch for those still interested in exploring It Ain't Half Hot Mum, despite its controversial material, there are still several available avenues to access the show. The series is available for streaming on Amazon UK, offering viewers a chance to engage with its historical context and comedic elements. The entire eight-series collection of the show has been made available on DVD across regions two and four. Notably, a complete series collection box set encompassing all eight series was first released October 4, 2010 in Region 2 and later re-released in 2018. It's important to note that as of now, no complete series box set has been issued in Australia, Region 4. Interestingly, some of the episodes in the show's inaugural series, such as A Star is Born and It's a Wise Child, faced an unfortunate fate as their master copies were lost after their initial broadcast. But a stroke of fortune emerged when domestic VHS copies recorded by an Australian viewer were discovered in 1988. Though of lesser quality, these copies serve as valuable extras on the Series 1 DVD. By making use of streaming platforms and home video releases, enthusiasts can delve into the world of It Ain't Half Hot Mum, recognizing its historical significance while also acknowledging the discussions surrounding its content. The debate rages on. The notion of political correctness remains a heated topic in society, sparking arguments and discussions across various platforms. The argument that a show like It Ain't Half Hot Mum was simply a product of his time and thus should be exempt from modern criticism often falls on deaf ears for several reasons. First, it's essential to acknowledge that even within its historical context, not all viewers would have found the content unproblematic. Certain portrayals and themes were contentious even during the time of their creation. And the idea of political correctness is deeply intertwined with the expansion of societal values. As our understanding of equality, representation, and cultural sensitivity grows, we're compelled to reevaluate older material through this new perspective. Now it's time to hear from you. Were you a fan of It Ain't Half Hot Mom? Let us know in the comments section below.